Right, that's a bullet on the lift. As you can tell, I'm very out of breath, I'm very unfit. But it is quite a push up the lane to get round into my shed. Uh, which needs a really good tidy up. But hey ho, there we go, I'm a bit of a scruffy bugger, so uh, I'll live with it for now. So, first job I'll be uh, disconnecting my battery, removing the seat and tank, headlamp, uh, and lay out the new loom and uh, take it from there. Well, I'm here, sorry about my uh, heavy breathing. Um, other, other bikes in my uh, collection of rust is a ETZ. 250 but it's fitted with a, a 300 engine uh, with a U-Bank sidecar uh, these were made on the Isle of Man pressed steel construction very very light uh, this one's very good condition no rust uh, but it is the bike's up for sale at the moment uh, I've not really got used to, to, to riding an outfit however I've not had much practice so if there's no interest I'm not bothered uh, it can stay and I'll probably learn to love it and this is me ETZ 300 I took the engine out of this one to get the one in the outfit running so I've got a, a 250 engine uh, lined up to go back into this um, great fun I just modified it single seat chopped the frame down at the back it's quite a common practice a lot of people do it put an early TS headlight shell on the front raise the front mud guard slightly wider bars and great fun great fun to ride lifted the uh, foot peg bar up just to uh, sorry I lowered the foot peg bar not lifted but lowered it because I'm six foot and uh, riding me your knees are under your chin so uh, I took about one and a half inch off those the door ground perfectly good uh, remove the uh, oil tank put a little cycling bottle in there that's full of two stroke oil so now it's a pre-mix uh, but a great little bike I do regret taking the engine out to, to fix the uh, the outfit but you do these things when you when you get a new project um, but a few weekends and it'll be back together <laughs> 